When I first built my home theater inside of this shed, I knew nothing about audio calibration. In fact, I l really knew little to nothing about home theaters as a whole. And so I reached out to the YouTube community and found some experts in their field. And I watched a lot of Techno Dad videos because he's got a lot of content. In fact, I got to meet him last year at Vid Summit and get some in-depth conversation with him. And that guy knows his stuff. In fact, it's almost like so geek level when it comes to audio and nodes specifically with Dolby Atmos that my brain was spinning to a certain extent. So when he announced earlier this year that he was coming out with his own spatial audio toolkit, yes, this disc right here to make it easy for laymen like myself who don't still know all there is to know, especially about height speakers when it comes to Dolby Atmos setups, I was thrilled and I was even more thrilled when he offered to send me out a disc so that I could test it in my home theater inside of a shed here. Now I've gotten a lot of advice from other YouTubers like Steven Smith with Home Theater Guru who's helped me set up the Roo system. So I'm curious to see how this compares to the audio setup that I've already been experiencing and enjoying. And I'll tell you a little secret. I've actually already been demoing it and I'm very impressed how dialed in I can get and test individual things. So let me get into everything that you're gonna get inside of this spatial audio calibration toolkit and see if this is the right disc to help you calibrate your system like Techno Dad in collaboration with Joe and Tell. So Jonna and Joe have compiled over 160 audio files on this disc that you're gonna get here and put it in a very easy to use menu inside of the DVD. So essentially what you're gonna be going to do is you're gonna be playing a variety of audio and visual files that will help you not only calibrate your speakers for their level matching, time testing, crossover points, the list goes on and on in terms of what you really want to dial it in. I would have to say that the level matching was one of my favorite aspects of it because even though I've run the Roo software with a UV microphone to really dial in those levels, I was able to further calibrate those hearing it with my own ears. And that was really kind of cool. Now you can also do this with a calibrated DB microphone to really dial in the level matching and get that exact db level in fact uh techno dad has a great video demonstrating that feature of the spatial audio calibration toolkit dvd but it was just neat to be able to hear with my own ears in these main listening positions right here this seat here to my right and this seat here are the two primary center focused seats in this movie theater and i know with my own ears that is calibrated based on the sounds that I output. So let's take a look at the DVD itself and the menu in terms of what you get. So initially you're just gonna have an intro and this is Shauna giving you kind of an overview of the DVD and what you can expect. And then the next setting here is the call out. And essentially this is just having call outs for each one of your speakers. And when I heard that for the first time, I was assured that all of my speakers were in the right place. Now you can do this for example with your AVR. And in my case, the Denon receiver that I have, I can output those sounds. But what's neat about having it play directly off of my Panasonic 4K Ultra HD DVD player is that I'm playing it off of the exact source that I do watch a lot of movies. Now, I now have a Kaleidoscape plus my DVD player, so I'm playing them off of both. But playing it off of something other than just your receiver, you get a different perspective on how the sounds are actually going to sound at the levels they're gonna sound at when you're playing it off of the actual media players versus just off of your receiver. So the call outs are just that. You get to hear you know, which speaker is where and just verify like, oh, phew, I installed all the right speakers in the right place or at least wired them correctly. Front left, center, front right. The next section is gonna be the level matching, and this is where you can really go in and calibrate the decibel sound coming out of each one of your speakers, depending on what your speaker setup is. Again, this is something you can do in, say, software like REW, but th they don't support height speakers, and it's just nice to be able to calibrate my four Dolby Atmos speakers overhead, which mine happen to have some pretty cool uh, little 
LED lasers that I can point directly to my main listening position, but getting those audio levels really dialed in is very, very cool. The next is the polarity test, and this is just to go around and make sure that you've properly wired all of your speakers. It outputs two different sounds for in phase and out of phase, and it will let you know if your speaker's polarity is connected correctly, meaning did you put the black to the black and the white to the white or red, depending on how your speaker wiring is. And if any of those sound like they're out of phase when they should be in phase or they're in phase when they should be out of phase, then you're gonna to wanna to go check the wiring on those specific speakers. The next section is for the timing test. Now, this didn't apply too much to my theater here because all of my speakers are built into the walls. I, I don't have any ability to move those, make them closer, farther away, but if you've got a lot of floor standing speakers, you could physically move those speakers around depending on what your timing is or go into your receiver and mess with some of the timing of those speakers, which there are distance settings a lot in your receivers, and I'm not gonna get into the details of that, but if you have the ability to move your speakers around based on the timing test, then it's a great option for you. Then there's additional sections like crossover points, speaker pairs, tonal balance, object panning, torture test, uh, and I'm going over some of these quickly just because you can go further in depth into some of Techno Dad's videos that he has. And even Joe on his channel, Joe and Tell, has some great videos that go deeper into what these sections are. One thing to note here on this crossover point test is that if you want to really test the low frequencies with your speakers, make sure you turn off your subwoofers, the amplifier to it, because when I first did this test, I was thinking, wow, that's really impressive that my center channel speaker can get down to 20 hertz or lower. It's not the case. Turn off your subwoofers. Um, but the torture test, I like that because it really does push your Atmos system to the limit in terms of really moving the sound around the space. And you can just do the regular pink noise, which uh, emits a variety of tones in certain frequencies and you can hear it moving all over the room, up, left, diagonal, right, back. It's If you ever want to even just demo your Dolby Atmos surround sound system to somebody, it would be a great thing to play because they could hear very distinctly objects moving around those nodes of the Dolby Atmos system. And I really like the uh, option to just have Jana's voice moving around the room. And through your room, moving through the room, moving through the room, uh, moving around your room. In fact, it's kind of stuck in my head now listening to it so many times is he, him just saying, now here I am moving across your mo room, moving across your room, and now I'm just walking around, that's all I hear. So kudos to you, Chana, for uh, getting that stuck in my head. Might need to make that into some type of a wrap down the road. We should collaborate. Um, so a couple more sections of the DVD. There is an impulse response, a sweep test, and then periodic pink noise. So this wasn't really meant to be a specifically like an instructional video on how to use this. John has got some great videos showing you how to do this. He's got a quick start guide. I'll link all that in the description below, including a link to pick up the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit or the SACT, as Chana calls it, uh, DVD at a discounted price down in the description below. Huge shout out to Techno Dad and Joe and Tell for putting this together because it really kind of materializes what all the settings are inside of your receiver because you can really test it and dial it in on more of a physical audio level with your media source or uh, DVD player, whatever you're gonna be playing it off of. So I really enjoyed going through this, even though I am no audio expert, I am not an audiophile, I was able to pick this up, use it, test out all the settings and really dial in my system, dare I say even better than I already had had it set up and it will allow me to test it out if I ever get in any other type of equipment or I'm playing you know, media that I don't normally play. I can really test that out to make sure that all the levels are where they need to be, the speakers uh, tonally are paired properly, and all the other settings that I'm able to test out in this. So see you guys in the next video.